Okay, Vinny, do you want to kick us off? Vinny, do you want to kick us off? Yeah, sure, Bob. Hi, uh, good to see you. Um, first of all, we were expecting you to be out for, well, over four weeks, probably closer to six weeks. So have you managed to get back to first team action so quickly? <laughs> Yeah, it's good to be back. Uh, first of all, I'm really happy. Um, yeah, I try to give my best, and I have the uh, the top physios on my side helping me as well to accelerate the the, the recovery pro process. But uh, as soon as the doctor said me it was four to six weeks, um, I told him, "No, doc, we go to two or three weeks maximum." And he agreed with me, and, uh, and that then we just go for it. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to be to be back. I just want to to thank thank uh, the 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 physios, the the fitness staff, the doctors, uh, and the goalie coaches who helped me in on this process. Obviously, though, while you're back, Virgil Van Dijk is is out for a long time. I, I just wonder then, how does it compare playing with Virgil Van Dijk at centre half to having Fabinho playing at, at centre half? Uh, uh, Fab is a fantastic player. He's doing really well as a centre back, but we we miss uh, a lot Virgil. We can't deny that. Uh, but uh, we have the players that we need to to keep playing our way, keep doing our best. We don't need to change the way we play, uh, but we will miss him. He is one of the best players uh, in the world. And uh, when you don't have him, on th those kind of players uh, on the team, on the pitch, we will miss them. This is a fact. You've also seen a couple of VAR decisions go against you over the last uh, couple of weeks. And, and the boss particularly made a point as well uh, about the penalty that uh, Sheffield United were awarded. Have decisions like that impacted on yours and your teammates' confidence in the VAR system at the moment? I, I believe we players, we don't have to think too much on uh, the referees' decisions and VAR's decisions. Uh, I think, but uh, yeah, we just want uh, we just want that uh, the things of football go in the the fair way as possible. So sometimes when the the things come over to you, yeah, you just feel angry or you just feel sad uh, about it. But sometimes can happen, and uh, we just have to deal with that. But uh, we have to focus on our our game on the pitch and then uh, we have other people to speak about the heferies and the VAR things. Okay, thanks Vinny. Hi, thanks Vinny. Ian, do you want to go next? Hi, how are you doing? You're okay? I'm good, and you? Very well. Um, one of the big successes last season when you were all conquering was you won games when you didn't play well. And in the last week, it's kind of been the same as Ajax and certainly with Sheffield United from afar. Would you say that you're back to where you were at the beginning of last season, the team was able to win foot matches in any way? Can, can you say that again? Sorry? Yeah, you, last season you won a lot of games without always playing well. Sometimes you, you, you won games when you didn't play well. Are you back into that sort of position now? Sometimes uh, it's needed. Eh? Uh, you not play all the, the matches, 60 matches a year uh, in the same way, all the, the games well. Sometimes you have to, you need a little bit of lucky and lucky comes with the hard work, comes together. I believe on that and uh, we are doing our hard work. Uh, so sometimes we win the games without playing the best football, but we we have to, we need to have the full desire, the full uh, passion always on the game. So sometimes you can make it happen, but uh, this this can't be uh, a routine. Uh, we try to, to to play a good game, to, to, to play better and better and better, keep improving. Uh, and this will be what we will try to do in the next games. And 10, 11, 12 points will get you through to the next stage. So having said that, with an away win under your belt, three wins at Anfield, 
You're well, you're well placed right now, yeah? Yeah, we we know our quality. We we know our goals. We have big goals for the for the season, but you have to focus um, on the next challenge that you have in front of you. Um, as a group stage, you think uh, in points and everything, but uh, for now we just have to be focused on our on our opponent and uh, prepare the game, prepare the match the best way as we can to to do a good game and to get the three points. Okay, Per TV2. Did you unmute yourself, Per? Hello, Alison. My name is Per from TV2. How are you? Hello, Per. I'm good. And you? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, I was just wondering, Alison, uh, playing uh, playing in the Champions League uh, without uh, any any supporters on the stand, how much of a difference is there? Because I, I talked to, to, among others, the United manager, and he sees some of the games as training matches because, because the atmosphere is so, so weird. What do you think? Yeah, uh, I mean, we'll never be the same. Uh, we miss a lot the, the our supporters, the atmosphere we have here uh, at Tenfield uh, in European nights. Are just amazing. We will we'll miss we'll miss that, but uh, it's what we have now. We we have to go through this. Uh, we are going already in the Premier League, um, and now for the Champions League is the same. Uh, but we I'm sure that we'll feel the the energy uh, from the supporters uh, from from their own homes. Okay, Chris, do you want to go ahead? Yeah. Hi, Alison. Um, I just... Oh, you can hear me. Um, I just wonder how painful is it, Alison, for you to watch games? I'm thinking two in particular that you normally would have played. And I think of the Atletico game last year and the Aston Villa game recently. But when you have to sit at home or whatever and watch that game, how does it make you feel having to watch those games? Hi, Chris. Uh, yeah, it's bad to be, not be involved in the in a football game uh, is the worst thing for a football player but uh, unfortunately you we have to deal with with those kind of things as well it's part of the job uh, injuries uh, we, we try to avoid them we try to do prevention works but sometimes happen uh, I'm glad that it was only three weeks but it was long three weeks looks like three months uh, in be, being not involved in the in the games in every game is uh, always hard. Not only that, the Atletico game, the Aston Villa game, always is hard because you want to help, you want to be involved, do do what you love to do, and help your teammates to to go for your your goals, for our goals. Okay, Kenneth, you go ahead. How, how well do you know the team Midtjylland and do we know the Brazilian players on the team? Hi Kenneth, um, yeah, honestly we don't know too much. Uh, we do the, the meeting, the meeting before the match, uh, after this this interview, so we'll know more about, about Mid Midtjylland, about the players. Uh, but all we I know that, that they are a team who qualify for the Champions League, they are capable for that they are doing really well on the on their league uh, they are coming from from a, a win 3-2 uh, with a late winning goal so this gives confidence for the team to to come here and and believe uh, on their their goal I, I believe they come to win the game for the three points but uh, the most important thing now is uh, focus on ourselves uh, prepare the game and uh, focus on what we can do on the match to get the three points. Okay, Dom, do you want to go ahead? Hi, Alison. Um, you, you shaved, you, you took an awful lot of um, time off your recovery. Can you tell us what, what you did uh, in terms of, of, of helping yourself? What, what your rehab did? Was it longer hours? Was it, you, you must have done some work to, to get yourself back so quickly. I pray a lot. 
<laughs> Seriously, I pray a lot. <laughs> yeah, but obviously I pray, but um, I, uh, also did uh, a lot of sessions of treatment. Uh, I was every day for five, six hours in the club doing treatment uh, with the physios, with uh, working with the fitness department. Uh, and after two weeks, um, being together with the goalie coaches already, doing some catchings, uh, not diving yet, but after uh, two and a half week, I start to dive. And then three days, three days before the match, uh, I start to, to work hard with uh, hard shootings, hard kicks, hard uh, catchings, diving, full range diving. So on Friday, I feel I, I gave the, the green light to, to the boss. And uh, yeah, I believe um, my faith and um, obviously uh, working hard helps me in the, this, this fast recovery. Uh, so um, have you played through pain? Uh, do you still carry any pain, or are you, are you free from pain? Uh, every injury that you have on the on the ligament, uh, uh, shoulder, ankle, or knee, you f still feel something weird. Not, not, not pain. Not really pain, but this is some. It's just weird a little bit. Uh, you feel it uh, for a, for a while or for a couple of weeks, uh, but nothing that put limits on uh, on my way to play. I'm. Uh, really 100% fit to play and uh, comfortable with that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, two final questions. We'll start with Klaus. You're on mute, Klaus, sorry. Right. There we go. Okay. Uh, hi, Alison. Uh, sorry for that. Um, I have a question with regards to one of the Midland players coming from Nigeria, Frank Onyeka. He uh, recently lost his dad and have been unable to uh, to go back to Africa to attend to his uh, to his father due to these these circumstances with the with the virus and everything. Uh, I would assume that you have some similar experiences of that, something like that where things get difficult because of all these restrictions. Uh, what's it like being stranded in a in a foreign country far away and and uh, having to hear about people experiencing difficulties uh, back home without being able to uh, to go back or anything. Hi Klaus, yeah, first of all, uh, I feel sorry for him, for his loss, uh, really. And yeah, it's a difficult time for everybody. I think many people in the world lost they, their loved ones and uh, couldn't say goodbye properly. And this is a tough moment for everybody. Sometimes we just forget a little bit because we are involved in uh, our jobs in football but football is a way to to give uh, happiness for the people in this those difficult times a lot of ha happiness come uh, through football and uh, that's why we do with so much passion and so much love that uh, uh, what we do but uh, yeah obviously uh, I, I didn't see my parents for um, I think uh, seven months I was the last time was the longest time I I stay away from them in in the my in my life but uh, uh, we I'm happy that we have the technology we can I can call them every day and speak with them and um, yeah but uh, I miss them I miss my my friends uh, as well but everybody are going through something that uh, uh, is not really comfortable uh, but uh, we have to keep faith that uh, things will get better as soon as possible uh, and that's it okay and the final question from Jonas please hi Alison um, I was just wondering is it normal that you prepare for, for a Champions League match for around 24 hours before the game hi Jonas uh, yeah normally uh, is the same preparation uh, today we have our meeting we try to 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 know a little bit more from the the opponent we we have our training session 
uh, as as the same doing our preparation focus on ourselves what we can do what we can prove from the from the last match what we can repeat on the pitch that we did well uh, yeah and just prepare our minds and the rest before before the the challenge that we have tomorrow that we is, is really important for us in this season. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Leave it there. Thank you.